Hi Leo, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you a weekly tarot reading for the week of October 19th to the 25th. And I do want to of course take this moment to thank all of my wonderful new and returning subscribers. Welcome everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And I more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, and comments. So most definitely head on down below and do just that. And while you're down there, you will see all the information you need to book a personal reading with myself. So go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll get that started for you. And something new I have decided to start this week is within the weekly videos, readings, I am going to recommend a new reader once a week throughout all of the 12 signs. So today's or this week's uh, reader that I would love to recommend to you her channel is called Lionessence Tarot and Astrology. She is so unique. I'll leave her information in the description box below. So check her out. You won't regret it. Let's get started. Oh, one of my crystal necklaces. Let's get started by pulling a message or two from the Moonology deck. I was feeling drawn to this deck for some reason this week. What do we have for Leo to begin this weekly read? Thank you, Spirit, for Leo. What else do we have for Leo? Thank you, Spirit. Keep them coming. I think we have one more for you. For Leo, please. Thank you, Spirit. All righty. Don't let your past hold you back, my friend, at the bottom of the deck. We're going to leave that out. Absolutely. You've been through a lot as a Leo, but it's, it's time to let it go. It's time to not let it uh, keep you from the beautiful future that you have. And on that note, it's time to release negativity. I feel like there's a situation you've been put in Leo recently where you've been feeling a bit negative, a bit on edge. And I think you're doing a lot better of a job this week of dealing with it coping with it, making the best of it, but it does feel like you have a little bit of leftover negativity within you or in regards to uh, somebody or a situation that you just need to find a way to release this week in some way, shape or form. And then moving right along, we have look at the bigger picture. It may feel like you look so far into the future and you do see what's ahead and you you set all these goals for yourself and you kind of want things to, to change quicker, but they're reminding you to look at the bigger picture. Realize that where you're at is where you need to be in this current time because everything happens when it's meant to for a reason. It's either to teach you a lesson or to help you save money or to help you grow and become stronger. It, it could be a numerous amount of things, but it could also just be one. But just try to look at the bigger picture and not get so caught up in, I don't want this, I don't want that, you know? And again, we're going to put that side by side with release the negativity since that came out. And then prosperity lies ahead. Ooh, yes, Leo. If you don't feel truly, truly abundant yet, get ready because it lies ahead. And this week is all about getting into that mindset so that not only do you not manifest any negative outcomes into your life, but so that you're in that right mental state so you can welcome in and manifest lots of abundance for yourself beautiful good start let's continue by pulling seven tarot cards one for each day of the upcoming week some shuffling of course there's a bit of a struggle one more shuffle What do we have for our lovely Leos to continue this weekly read? Ooh, good start. Keep them coming for Leo. Thank you, Spirit. They're coming out easily, my friend. Easily. I'm going to shift these on over. What else do we have for our lovely Leos? Thank you. 
They are popping out. And they're telling me to just pull the last three for us because remember, if you're well, well, if you're new to this channel, I am a Leo myself. So <laughs> this obviously pertains to me as well. Interesting. I can't believe I forgot to mention that your overall energy that I meditated on when I did so, when I meditated on your overall energy for the week, the message that came through was as things improve. I, I can't believe I forgot to say that. Excuse me. And we have a star card at the bottom of the deck, uh, which is all about uh, healing and again, releasing that negativity, healing those wounds from the past, not letting them hold you back, at least not anymore. To begin, on Monday, we have the King of Pentacles. You start off on a very confident note. You are in this, at least on Monday, you're sitting in your power, standing in your power. I feel like money is on your mind in this day. You find yourself uh, sorting out financial issues with ease or doing something to work towards your financial comfort or financial goals no matter what you decide to achieve or work towards on Monday, you are definitely feeling confident about it. And I feel like people are noticing this about you and you're feeling better about your physical appearance too. I, And as you sort of try to clean up your mental state a bit. And then on Tuesday, we have the two of wands. I feel like on Tuesday, you're looking right to the future. That is truly your focus. While on Monday you were very confident in working towards your financial goals and all that good stuff, on Tuesday you're just solely focused on where you're heading. You know, maybe you have a new place you want to move or a new job you want to get, a new career you want to start. You know, visualizing this, the business you started growing, it's going to be different for all of you. But at the end of the day, it is productive. Just don't, don't let it get carried away. Because as we move to Wednesday, I feel like it does to an extent. We have the Princess of Wands, which I refer to as the anxious card. And by drifting too far into the future and almost, I feel like it started out healthy and productive. And then it you carried it through into the next day, which was just way too long. And it, it's leaving you feeling a bit anxious, a bit on edge, a little stressed out about it. Because you just feel like you have so much to achieve. You'll get there. You just got to calm your mind. Meditate this week for sure. Eight of Cups for Thursday. I also feel like a situation that you're in currently gives you anxiety and you do your best to cope with it and deal with it, but it's just, it keeps popping up here and there and you just got to kind of accept it and do your best to once again, keep moving forward, keep pushing forward. And remember that that situation is temporary. So Eight of Cups. Walking away from overthinking things, walking away from reliving situations and trying to imagine how future situations will come to be. All of which just stresses you out in completely different ways. And I can totally relate, my friend. I do that too. It's so unhealthy. It's so unhealthy. But what happens here is you just kind of get fed up with the anxiety, with the stress that you caused yourself at the end of the day. Or maybe it wasn't fully your doing, but I feel like a lot of it was. And so you just decide, you know what, I'm going to swim away. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to leave that behind. That's no longer serving me. It never was, first of all. But it's just not working for you anymore. And you decide, I'm going to be smart and walk away or swim away from it now so that I don't, I'm not left with the tower moment in one of these future weekly readings. And then to move right along, we have the world card for Friday. Friday is a day where the universe or spirit and spirit rather will come in and give you a little bit of abundance, a little bit of uh, prosperity, a, a hint that things are changing for you because your luck is changing overall, Leo. 
it just feels like it might feel like you had to rewind or you took a step forward and two steps back. That's the feeling I'm getting. And it's just a, one of those moments where all you can do is make the best of the situation and trust that everything happens for a reason and that you will surpass all of your goals, achieve all of those goals and get to that final outcome, that kind of 10 of pentacles that you're striving to achieve. And then the world card is aligned with the king of pentacles and I feel like as your luck changes it makes you even more confident helps you be standing even more in uh, your power which even if you didn't feel like people were noticing you and kind of having all eyes on you at the beginning of the week when the weekend when Friday rolls around you will for sure even more so and then the four of swords for Saturday I feel like you're going to be a bit burnt out when it comes to Saturday. You know, I guess if you want to consider this the beginning of the weekend. And you just might feel like, at the very least, mentally exhausted, emotionally exhausted from stressing yourself out, from reliving situations and looking to the future too much. Because it's aligned with the Two of Wands and I feel like a lot of it has to do with because you were looking again to the future too much. And partially because you do relive situations from the past occasionally, but. And in this day, it's a good day to remind yourself that things like the overall message says are improving. It just, you just have to keep going with the flow and allow for yourself to have some patience as things do come together in all areas of your life. And then we have the Nine of Swords to finish off the week on Sunday. And it's almost like not even just on Saturday, you're feeling burnt out. You're feeling even more burnt out on Sunday. It's interesting because maybe you try to give yourself some downtime, some time to rest and maybe adjust your perspective on Friday. But all you can do in that downtime is relive things and think to the future. Because it's, or at the very least, look to the future. It's aligned with the Princess of Wands. You may just give yourself more anxiety again. Or it just might feel like the situation that you're in again is causing you to feel very burnt out or very just depleted of energy of, you know, all of your resources, but don't let it get to you. It just seems like a bit of a burnt out weekend. Try to do your best to keep your mind simple and uh, do what you can to rest and rejuvenate. Let's finish this off by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. What do we have for our lovely lions, our lovely Leos, to wrap up this weekly read? Thank you, Spirit. What else do we have? For Leo. Oh, I think we have four. That's a lot. My future starts today. So stop looking forward so much. Stop trying to, or rather stop obsessing over what's to come or what, you know, won't come. It starts today, my friend, and therefore stay present. All right, so I guess you have five. Lots of messages for Leo. Scratch that six. Actually, we're not going to do that one. Instead of focusing on the anger, I focus on healing the pain. I, I do feel like when you feel anxious because of whatever situation you're in, or maybe just, you know, when you relive the past, just focus on healing that pain, those wounds within, so you can move forward into the next chapter of your life a bit healthier, a bit lighter, fresher. No need to focus on the anger or the emotions like that. Life is a balancing act of holding on and letting go. And in this case, I feel like this week for you, it's about balancing, letting go, and holding on to certain emotions, certain habits, certain ways of being. And I feel like a lot of this week is going to remind you to part ways with some of those old habits and ways of being. And then we have, I play with the world. You've been so serious lately, Leo. Lighten up a bit. Don't take that offensively. I mean, I have too. It, it just feels like you need to shake it up a bit. Have some fun. You've been working so hard. You've been so serious. I feel like you haven't even smiled that much recently. Anyways. Last but not least... 
everything isn't happening to me it's happening for me yes you may feel like you're going through a lot these days it may feel like you're in a, a stage of your life or just a small part of your life that isn't ideal again where it may be giving you some anxiety and stress on top of what you already caused yourself but just remember that it's happening for you to teach you lessons and to help you grow and expand and prepare you for all the amazing uh, prosperity and abundance that's ahead of you. Because remember, things are improving. So on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your situation. And while you're down there, uh, don't forget to send me an email about booking a personal reading. And I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye, Leo.